Now, this week, the United Nations took an historic vote for the first time recognising the medicinal use of cannabis while also removing it from their list of dangerous drugs. The International Drug Policy Consortium is a group of NGOs that promote debate on drug policy. Anne Fordham is Executive Director and Anne joins us now on News Talk. Good afternoon, Anne. Good afternoon. Uh, how significant is this vote? Well, it is significant. I mean, it, you know, it definitely is the first time, it follows on from the first time the World Health Organization has actually looked at the evidence about the relative harms of cannabis, as well as its usefulness as a medicine. And they recommended that cannabis be rescheduled and be removed from the list of um, Schedule 4, basically, which designates substances that have no therapeutic usefulness. Um, so this vote is definitely a green light for medical cannabis and I think will accelerate the moves towards the growing medical cannabis market globally. There are already more than 50 countries that allow cannabis for medical use, and I think we're going to see a lot more following this vote. Mm. Um, but... It, cannabis still remains in Schedule 1 of the 1961 Convention. There was no vote on that. It was not recommended for removal from Schedule 1, unfortunately, by the WHO, the World Health Organization. Uh, what, what is Schedule, um, schedule one? 1? is where it sits still... Schedule 1 is where it still sits next to heroin and cocaine and has to be controlled as strictly as those drugs and a number of other drugs, um, according to the international conventions. Mm. Now, now, I suppose so. it's more a recognition of the, of the medicinal uses of, of cannabis rather than uh, it, for, for recreational purposes. Absolutely, yes. Um, that's the signal. Um, I think member states still want to send, uh, sorry, governments at the UN still want to send that signal that, that this doesn't mean that they're allowing cannabis for recreational use. Um, and so it remains in Schedule 1, but they agree that, that it has medical um, usefulness. Mm. So that's what the vote means. Although from our side, you know, as those advocating for drug policy reform, we do see that um, this vote was quite important because a number of countries that were usually quite hard line on all issues did vote in favour of this rescheduling of cannabis. Um, and it was quite a tight vote. You know, it was only 27 um, countries voted in favour, 25 voted against. So you can see how close it was. Um, but in the 27 were countries that have taken a hard line before South Africa, Thailand, Morocco. You know, they've usually always sort of um, been anti any kind of um, shift towards um, being more progressive. So this is quite positive in terms of, you know, the drug policy reform agenda. We see it in that way.